Hello everybody and welcome to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing another tipping video but this time it is not going to be for the AFL, it is in fact going to be for the AFLW. Um, as most of you probably already know the AFLW Grand Final is on tomorrow as of recording this video so I want to get it out pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, obviously the Adelaide Crows and the Melbourne Demons are facing off at the Adelaide Oval. Um, this is going to be Adelaide's fourth grand final and potentially third grand uh, third grand final win, third premiership in six years of the AFLW being being a thing. Um, and obviously in 2020 there was no winner, so you could potentially call that three grand finals in five years if you want to spin it that way um but yeah uh, melbourne this is their first grand final so um and wouldn't it be great if they could uh get it done after the men team men's team did it last year and potentially if they do win this then there's every op every possibility that their men's team could go on and win it again later on down the year and we'll have two Melbourne teams winning a grand final in one year. How crazy would that be? But anyway, without further ado, I think it is time to get into the tips. The way this is going to work is I'm going to provide a little bit of a preview, just a small preview. I'm not that knowledgeable with the AFLW. I don't follow it as much as I do the men's league. Mainly because my team isn't actually in the AFLW, the Sydney Swans, and also it it is not it's clearly not up to the standards of the men's game. And while I still do and watch enjoy watching it, it's it's just it's pretty sloppy and scrappy, and the atmosphere isn't as good. But I'll still provide a preview on this game since it is a grand final after all. I feel like it de deserves a little bit of recognition. So yeah, now, now, without further ado, let's get on with the tips and the predictions. Starting off my very quick little preview that I promised, I thought it'd probably be best to look at the ladder and how these two sides played when they faced off. So obviously these two teams have been the best teams all year positioned 1 and 2, both on 9 wins and 1 loss. Melbourne's 1 loss during the season did come against the Adelaide Crows. Um, it was, I think it was like 2 or 3 goals the final margin, but Adelaide pretty much had the game won by 3 quarter time. Um, Melbourne are typically a very good, or at least this year they've been a very good last quarter team. And I think they did make a bit of a comeback late in that game, but just they were out of it by then. Adelaide's one loss came to the Bulldogs. It was a nail-biting loss. Um, it was very nearly a come-from-behind victory. It was. I remember that game was a pretty fun one to watch in the end, because by the end of the game, it was basically just rugby. Like, all 36 players on the ground were in the 1-4-50, just... The Bulldogs players were trying to congest it as much as possible, and the Crows players just wanted to somehow whack the ball on the boot and get it through for a goal. It was almost possible, impossible to get any space. Um, the Crows, they are the best defensive team in the competition, um, with the Demons not far behind them. Uh, Adelaide, I think they have like two of the biggest ball winners in the competition. I think they maybe have um, both the leading and second most uh, disposal players, how we want to say that, in the competition in Ebony Marinoff and Ann Hatchard. So they they do have some pretty big ball winners in the centre. Um, both teams have some prominent forces down in the forward in their forward lines um, Taylor Harris at one end Ashley Woodland the leading goal scorer for the league at the, at the other end Daisy Pierce can float along the back line or in the forward line bob up for a few goals yeah it'll be a it'll probably it should be a tight 
game, and now I think it's probably time to give my very uneducated, unexpert opinion and tip. Time for my personal tip for the AFLW Grand Final. I am tipping the Crows by 10 in a reasonably low scoring affair. I mean, most AFLW games are pretty low scoring, but I feel like both teams have very solid defences. It'll really probably come down to a midfield battle in the end. Um, Crows, it's hard to go against them. They've only lost to the one final in their club's AFLW history, and that is the last year's grand final. Um, they've been the best team all year. It's, it's just really hard to go past them. Um, so, yeah, Crows by 10 with the score 32 to 22. And so finally, before I end off this video, I'm just going to go over a couple more things in the first goal scorer and who I think will be the best on ground in this grand final. So first goal scorer, I'll just go with Ash Woodland. Um, she's been the leading goal scorer all league. Um, I think pretty much every round she's been on top of the goal kicking list. And for my best on ground, I'm going with Ebony Marinoff, who's been one of the best players all season. Um, leading disposal getter in the league, I think. Um, at one point, she became like the first player to record 1,000 career disposals, like late later on in the season. So that's a pretty special milestone. And so, yeah, first goal scorer and best on ground tipped. Okay, so that is all I have for today's video. Um, there is my AFLW Grand Final tips and predictions, plus slight preview. Uh, please do leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment with your tip. It is now going to be the day of the Grand Final as of uploading this, but still, you can leave a tip, I guess. Um, and I will see you all in the next one.